Now, we are doing this by following a six-stage process. And this process is, I mentioned the International Standards Organization. If you don't know what that is, uh, if you have a digital camera, for example, uh, and you have uh, numbers for the speed of, of, of the picture, how sensitive it is to light, and they're usually ISO numbers. Quite literally, that's where it was set. There are some people in this room who are old enough to remember before digital cameras, you actually put film in there, and your film had an ISO number on it, and it quite literally is the worldwide standard for that film's sensitivity to light. If you were in a low light situation trying to stop motion of something moving fast, you had to have a faster, faster film. So, so that's a concept of how you can set a standard and it can, can work uh, all manufacturers uh, worldwide. Another great example, everybody here has a cell phone with them. How is it that you can buy it from different manufacturers, you can go to different carriers to get your service, you can carry that cell phone for different, to different parts of the world, and it'll work? And the answer is standards. You know, that's, that's how those work together. So the International Standards Organization is, is an important piece of, you know, of our research that led us to say these are the six st uh, steps we're going to follow. ISO begins with three principles that we think is really, are really important. First of all, consensus. You have to get all of the views together. You know, you have to make sure you've got input from, in our case, client organizations, uh, agencies, research and measurement providers, associations, so, so that it's very important that we, we get all those views in on our way to consensus. And so therefore, throughout our process, we solicit your input from beginning to end. And, I, and I'm gonna tell you a little bit about how to provide your input. It has to be industry-wide. You know, it has to be something that's going to be usable by all parties and, and on a worldwide basis. That will not be easy. And we may have to take some steps in between on the way there. But nevertheless, it's very important that this really be industry-wide standards. And they have to be voluntary. They have to be driven by the market. They have to be driven by customers saying, I'm going to demand that. We cannot, we don't have the power to impose standards on anyone. And if we did, it would be illegal in some countries. You know, it would be an antitrust activity. So therefore, they have to be vo voluntary and it has to involve all interested parties. Uh, so our six steps begins with the proposal stage. That's where we identify areas where standards are needed. We have five of those today already, uh, where, where we're, and there, there will be many, many more, but we actually have identified five areas. Second is the development stage, and I'll give you those five in, in just a moment. I'm not trying to be mysterious about it. The development stage, where technical experts in a given area draft what we call a proposed interim standard. How's that for enough qualifications? Proposed and interimed on its way to being a standard. That we post online for review, and by getting feedback on it, we hope to broaden, to deepen, and to continually revise that draft. And after we've gone to several, through several drafts, and by the time the working group believes it has developed the best technical solution, we then call that a proposed interim standard. It's proposed because it now goes to the customer panel. And that customer panel, as I said earlier, is the arbiter of when a proposed standard is re ready that we're gonna say that's an interim standard. No longer proposed, customers are saying, that's for us, we're ready to start adopting that. Now, our customer panel, we hope will include six or more, we don't hope, it will include six or more corporations. Uh, from different places around the world. We're still working on that. So far, we have several global companies that happen to be headquartered in the United States, but, but you know, we're talking with others as well. The ones who have signed on so far are quite significant. General Electric, where the Vice President of Communications himself has agreed to be part of this. General Motors, where their Head of Research and Measurement will be part of this. Uh, Southwest Airlines, whom you wouldn't know uh, here, but, but nevertheless, their vice president of public relations in charge of, of, of the, the research uh, area is going to be part of this. And, uh, and McDonald's, 
which I know from driving around Lima, you know that as well as we do. So, so, uh, so those four, we think is quite significant, four companies at that level have already signed up. We're speaking with an international uh, uh, energy company right now for being part of this, and, and there will be others to come. So, so that's what our role of our customer panel will be in step three is to say, okay, we're going to look at the proposed interim standard, and if we like it, we're going to declare it the interim standard. Then you publish it. We put it out for the world to see. This is our interim standard. By the time you get to this point, you can start applying it as an industry. You've got it out there. Customers have said, bring it on. We're going to use this. This is a very important step. But there's two more that follow. One is validation. Now, frankly, this can take several years, and that's why you go out with an interim standard. You have to be able to say, what research does it take to prove that that standard is valid for measuring what it is we say that it does? So we'll go through that process. We'll figure out what needs to be done after the interim standard is set, and then uh, ultimately publish it as a, a final standard. But even then, in any field moving as fast as this, what is ever really final? You go back and you start looking at them about every year to say, okay, does that still meet the need? Have we missed something? Are there more things we need to, to add to it? But it, it's, uh, it's quite a rigorous process, actually, and, and one that, again, we're, uh, we're in about st stage three for, for certain topics.